All right, guys, we're almost there. One more type of outer function to cover. All right, so just remember that our chain rule formula is that the derivative of a composition of functions, f of g of x, is going to be equal to, you just do that derivative of the outer function, you leave the inner function inside there, and then you have to multiply it by the derivative of the inner function. All right, and so with these problems the outer function here well let's 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 look at what the inner function would be first so the inner function is just going to be this part right here so g of x is going to be equal to 9e to the 3x plus 1 and f of x here the outer function is just going to be the ln of x and so this is a great problem where it looks really bad like what am i going to do about that 9e to the 3x right but I just want to follow what my formula tells me, right? So what's f prime of, what would f prime of x be? Well, f prime of x, the derivative of ln of x is just 1 over x, right? And so what the formula tells me is that I want to take f prime, except I replace the input with g of x, right? So that's the first part. So I just do 1 over 9e to the 3x plus 1. The second part of what the formula tells me is that I need to multiply by the derivative of what was on the inside, the 9e to the 3x plus 1. Now, so I'm done taking derivatives here. I still need to take a derivative over here. And what's the derivative of this going to be? And so it's a formula we haven't practiced as much. But remember that the derivative of e to the 3x is 3e to the 3x. And so what I can do is I'll leave this part alone out here. But over here, remember how it's, it's a constant times something I know how to take the derivative of. So it's going to be 9 times 3e to the 3x. And then the derivative of the 1 is going to be 0. right? So in the end, this 9 times 3 is going to turn into a 27. And I'll get 27e to the 3x divided by 9e to the 3x plus 1. Everything's getting a little bit close together, but hopefully it's clear enough. Okay, This one is going to be a little bit easier. Same idea though. So the inner function here is g of x is going to be t cubed minus t. My f of x, or I just cannot keep letters straight today, so g of t is going to be t cubed minus t f of t is just going to be the ln of t. Remembering if I replaced this g here um, with, uh, if I replace this t with g of t, this whole thing would be f of g of t. Right? And so the first step is going to be, well, what would the derivative of that outer function be? Well, it would be 1 over the inner function, just like above. right? So 1 over t cubed minus t so this is the part I'm writing here. But now I need to multiply by the derivative of what was on the inside, right? So t cubed minus t. And so this over here is going to end up being 3t squared minus 1. And I can just simplify this all in kind of one foul swoop. And so the derivative of my inside, like I said, is 3 t squared minus 1. That's what I'll have on the top. And then on the bottom, I just get t cubed minus t. And this is something that I could probably actually simplify a little. Well, maybe I can't simplify it anymore. But so the big idea is it's just the same thing as before, except my outer functions were now logs.